Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So I wanted to share some Target dollar spot slash bullseye playground hacks that I did. So let's just get into these DIYs. Okay guys, so for our first Target hack, what we're going to be working on is this tear tray. I'm pretty sure this one was $5 and I love the shape and the texture of it, but I'm not the biggest fan of the color. Right now on camera, it looks lighter than it did in person. It was like giving me paper bag brown vibes and I just wasn't really into it. Anyways, I'm going to spray paint this an ivory color. At first, I was trying to do this like one handed and then I was like, no, I got to go get the tripod. So this is how it's looking like after it's been fully painted and I already think it looks so much better. I do want to say that once I was done spray painting, that ivory color I was using had like a grayish undertone which I didn't really like. So I went over it with this vanilla ice cream color by Apple Barrel. I'm going to be using this yarn that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to start gluing on a little pattern just to give the tear tray something extra. Once I was finishing up with my pattern, I thought that the black was a bit too harsh on the light ivory color, so I changed it to twine that I got from Dollar Tree. And then I did the same pattern on the bottom and that's basically it. For our next Target hack, what we're going to be fixing up is this little chalkboard thingy. This one was $5 and I thought it was really cute, but like the white is just really plain so I wanted to like give it some color. Okay, so for this project, I'm going to be using this flower wallpaper that I had. I think this was a sample piece that I got from Amazon a really long time ago and I never used it, so I'm going to be using it for this. So I'm just going to start sticking my wallpaper onto anything that has white on this chalkboard. You could also use contact paper or even just paint this to give it a bit more life. And you guys, this wallpaper was so easy to use. It stuck on really well and I didn't get any air bubbles. So now that this is nice and covered, I do want to add little knobs to this. And I'm just going to use some of these wooden beads and glue them onto the front of the little shutter doors. And there we go guys, look how much cuter this is. Okay guys, so for the last project, we're going to be fixing up this little table and this one was $5. The first thing I'm going to do is make the tabletop fully flat. So I'm going to be filling in the little gaps and I'm going to be using air dry clay to do this. And I didn't really care about making this perfect because I'm going to go over it with plaster, but I just wanted to make sure that the gaps were filled.
Okay guys, so before I start applying the plaster, I'm gonna put this mesh all over my table so that the plaster actually applies well. You can get this mesh in tape form and I thought I had some but I didn't so I'm just going to be using this and since it's not in tape form, I'm going to make sure that it sticks onto my table using some E6000. Okay guys, so make sure to mix up your plaster according to the directions on whatever type you're using. And so now I'm just going to start applying my plaster. I made sure to get everything except for like this part right here. I tried to but the plaster was like sinking in and not working even with the mesh on top of that so I just ended up taking the mesh off and I'm just going to paint over the black glue stains. Anyways I'm going to start sanding my table now. So this is how we're looking like now and you can totally leave your table like this but I'm going to paint mine. For the top of my table I didn't want one flat color so I put white next to the color I want which is a dusty pink and I'm going to make sure to grab both colors onto my paintbrush and then I'm just going to start painting doing X's on my table and this will give me different shades of that dusty pink I'm using. For the table legs, I'm actually going to keep those white. The last thing I'm going to do is seal this with polycrylic protective finish in clear gloss. And I wish that this was a matte, but I didn't have that on hand, so it's going to have to do. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know and subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!